Police announced they are looking for a second suspect. That body was found on Will Scarlet Avenue on April 15th, not far from Ruskin Memorial Park. The victim also had a knife in his back. News Channel East Trevor Sahaki is in our Tappan News Center tonight with more on the story. Keith, court documents say the two suspects just moved here from Mexico, and the victim owned his own company. And unfortunately, the victim's wife showed up at the crime scene the next day after her husband didn't come home that night. She thought he had been in a car accident. Our deputies see a lot of tragic things, and none could really prepare them for the inhumanity that they faced with this case. A week after the death, police arrested 20-year-old Christian Segura Alvarez. Investigators are still looking for Carlos Almarez Barbosa. While we believe that this is an isolated incident at this time, um, we also know that this second suspect has no regard or respect for human life. Court documents revealed the victim was Efrain Ibarra Barcenas. Investigators matched his clothes at the crime scene and found a pay stub in his name. The documents also show he was stabbed in the back, had tape around his right arm, and a belt on his ankles. I wasn't expecting it, but you know, it could happen anywhere, but I wasn't expecting to look out my back window and see somebody back there, you know. It feels so bad for the family, you know. Neighbors at the time were stunned by the crime. And I'm thinking, okay, it's more than just a brush fire. It got to be something bigger. When they went to taping it off, come to find out it's an actual homicide going on right in our own backyard. Ibarra Barcenas was last seen drinking with the suspects less than a mile from the crime scene. Phone records and surveillance footage showed one of the suspects, Amarez Barbosa, driving the victim's car the night of the crime. Those same records also showed the victim's phone returning to the suspect's home later that night. Police said though they made their first arrest a couple weeks ago, they wanted to keep it quiet in order to try and find the second suspect. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office asks that if you know anything about this case, give them a call. Live in the Tampa News Center, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.